Aquarius. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> My gosh. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is wanting to be yours. So is this. Is this in the reverse? Is this in the upright? What is going on here? Okay. Aquarius, this is what is happening with your reading. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what needed to come in. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to be honest with you. Somebody really wants to get your attention, and they made that really clear <laughs> from the start of your reading. Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius energy. This is, yeah, coming in kind of fast. And I, I, I have to say, I'm feeling that. It's been one of those days, I have to tell you. And there's just so much humility, humility, communication, apologetic energy. There's just like, there is a collective energy that is going on right now. It's so intense. I gotta say, <laughs> it's really intense. But this is intense. Eight of Wands. Somebody wants to get your attention. Six of Wands. Mercury energy here. The planet of the mind. The planet of communication. If you watch my readings regularly, you know I talk about Mercury and how it's really closely connected to reading and writing energies. And that's really, well, that's pretty clear here. So it's, I guess you could say extra validating if it's possible for text messages, SMS, social media, email. However, it's still Mercury. And how do you normally communicate with this person? Do you normally talk on the phone? Can you see them? Because if you see them, for example, at a concert, a party, a wedding, whatever, they're, they're definitely wanting to get your attention. Somebody wants to work things out. The person that's coming through here today wants to be honest with you. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, welcome to your Aquarius tarot reading, Aquarius love tarot reading, Aquarius love reading. This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here, and it's a general tarot reading. So always take what resonates and let the rest go. Energies can be vice versa. And it could also be that you, you realize, okay, it's not my reading. That's okay too, of course. Go where you're drawn. You can access all your Aquarius zodiac readings in the description below. Of course, you'll find all 12 zodiac signs there. If you are, in fact, a cross-watcher, you'll also find all signs, tarot readings. These are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. All my readings are pretty much including love messages, messages from your person. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, they're really specific readings specifically for you. So check those out if you want to. Yeah, if you want to get a more in-depth look into your Twin Flame journey, the Twin Flame readings. So... That's about it. I feel really rushed today. <laughs> I feel like all day it's been this energy. My throat chakra is just kind of nuts. Communication, communication, communication. There's a collective energy in the air here. Queen of Swords, by the way, Libra ruled by Venus energy. This is my, my protege to justice. Yeah. Some truth here coming, real total honesty. And coming here with the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy, so coming together. It's definitely somebody who wants to talk to you or just, I guess you could say talk to you in a way that could, whoa, <laughs> that can also be, okay, the High Priestess just made its way into your reading. That can also be in the way of messages, is what I wanted to say. I need to show you what's going on here. Oh my gosh, Six of Cups, Three of Swords in Reverse, the High Priestess just came down. Cancer Energy, Divine Feminine Energy, the High Priestess is connected to the Sacral Chakra, I feel, as well as the Third Eye Chakra, as well as the Third Eye Chakra I see, the Self-Awareness. So what is being, what are they wanting? The truth is being revealed here, I'll tell you that. Is there something else? It's somebody who's coming in who 
I don't know. I just feel like they want to work this out. And we saw what was going on here too. Look, three of swords in reverse. This is an apology. Saturn and Libra energy. Six of cups, sun and Scorpio energy. Soul, connection, strong. It can be you've known your person for many years, even going into childhood. It can also just feel that way, you know? Soulmate energy. For some of you, this might be your twin flame. And as I say that, I just want to remind you, these are not specific twin flame readings in terms of the zodiac readings and the love tarot readings. I do channel specific twin flame readings. But when it comes through, it comes through. So if you're resonating with that, it's definitely here for you. This is somebody who's missing you, who's feeling nostalgic, and who is sorry, for lack of a better word. Are they bringing an apology here? It sure looks like it. Look at this. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, even just the way that they came in today. Look where our crow is looking at the Five of Cups. Mars and Scorpio energy, regret. This is somebody who regrets how they left things. Regrets that they left you feeling like they didn't love you. There, this is somebody who is missing you. There is a, there is a heartbreak, heartbreak broken energy here today as well. I feel like whoever is coming through here has already kind of taken over. It's intense. Okay. It's too many. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for liking today's video subscribing to the tarot closet. I appreciate it. Let's see what else is coming through Aquarius. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us what we need to see. Aho. Hmm. Oh yeah. So this is somebody who really, oh yeah. Yeah. This is somebody who really disappointed you. Really let you down. They checked out emotionally. This is somebody who ghosted. I mean, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in the upright energy. Saturn and Pisces with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Scorpio and Pluto energy. Broken promises. Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Really hurtful. Disappointment. They know they let you down. The Empress. So for some of you, there is another third party. That's just really clear. It's not for everybody, but it is here. Okay. We could be looking at another divine feminine energy. Again, just always take what's yours and let the rest go. The Empress Taurus energy, also bringing in Libra. This is Venus, the planet of love. And the Empress is connected to the heart chakra. You know, this reversal energy. It's like wasting the resources of the Empress, who is just such a healing Mother Earth energy, able to just come in and make it all work, you know? And this reversal energy is, yeah, not being honest about feelings, emotionally kind of checked out, not opening up. That's really strong that what's been going on. It's here in the partnership placement, but we also see that they want to reveal feelings, the truth. Yeah, they're getting restless. Four of Swords in reverse Jupiter and Libra energy. It's definitely somebody who's getting anxious. Nine of Cups in reverse. Not loving that, but it's also connecting with the Empress in reverse. So it's it's kind of like, well, it's wishes not fulfilled, but there's also something going on here with somebody who made a, a wrong decision or just hasn't made a decision at all. Maybe you didn't make the right one. There is an overwhelming energy. It's kind of struggling. There's a commitment issue energy here. So we could be looking at literally the two of pentacles here in reverse, Capricorn and Saturn, with the ace of cups in reverse, that it's around marriage or building a family or children, you know. 
but that's just going to mean something different for everybody because Ace of Cups also has feelings. It's like holding them back. Because one of those pentacles is yours. And that's, well, that's infinity. So it's connecting with, with a mastery energy, and it's the lack of that, but infinity connected to justice, to Libra, I should say, truth, balance, and renewal. So a lot of lack of that here, but it's coming right here with the Queen of Swords, who is our protege to justice. So they're getting really anxious to communicate with you. It's somebody who, I got to tell you too, who feels guilty, Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's a lot that hasn't been said. <coughs> and that's connecting with the Eight of Wands, which you could say is saying what hasn't been said. This person is held back, for sure. This feels really intense today, Aquarius. I wasn't expecting this. If you watch my readings, you know, four of wands. You know that I'm pretty lighthearted. You know, it's just feeling really intense. Four of wands, Venus, and Aries energy, nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo and Mercury energy. So it's a validation of where things are, you know, just kind of not happening at the moment. But it's also telling me that something happened here, of course. It's one pentacle shy of the 10 of pentacles. Had you built a life, were you building it? Was it on the table? Were you moving somewhere different? Was it, were you moving into another level? You know, whatever the, Whatever the case is, you can see that that's here. That's the pentacle here. If you are able to see this person, if there's something coming up like a wedding, this is reunion energy. So for me, look, it's really, really validated in today's deck with the floral laurel wreath here. You may have been friends first with this person. If not, there is a strong friendship here, but it could also be around friends and family, you know. So if you can see them, they're going to be there. If you can't see them, they're still an energy of wanting to communicate. I mean, it's really strong. It's a soulmate energy here incoming with the eight of wands, with the six of wands, wanting to get your attention. So if you can see them, they might be following you around, you know, at this event. If you can't see them, it's still an energy of communication. I mean, there's just no way around that. Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is both an energy for me of somebody who's just been super restless for a long time. Gemini and Mars, who's been wanting to communicate, who's been wanting to apologize. That came through really strong with our Three of Swords, of course. And you can see it even here in the Four of Swords. There are the Three of Swords. For some of you, there are third parties. You know, it could also be them stuck in their head third party. I just need to tell you that. But it's like getting up and then actually doing something about it. So getting out of this restless, sleepless energy because they're going to do something about it energy. So that's also really strong. Eight of Swords in reverse, <laughs> King of Cups. Page of Swords, King of Pentacles. Are they ready now? I was just reaching for another deck, and I think I'm going to get it. But first, we have to address the fact that the Eight of Swords is in reverse, Jupiter and Gemini. So whatever they've been holding back from, communication, the truth, right here, it's coming, okay? This is also Jupiter energy, which is the planet of prosperity and expansion, bringing in Pisces and Sagittarius, although this particular energy is Gemini. So it's like holding back from all of it, the truth, communicating, they kind of put themselves here, you know, stuck in their head, whatever, not wanting to say things. It's in reverse. So this is like, okay, that's it, I'm doing it. And it's here, look at the Four of Swords in reverse. Also, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, or excuse me, the Nine of Swords in reverse, yeah, it's time for the truth here. It's time for some kind of communication. The truth of how they feel, King of Cups. 
Here's what's really interesting because this energy, look, the way they're looking over at the sailboat. So King of Cups, Pisces energy, our master, it's the king of their emotions. Like they got a handle on them, you know. This is somebody who's been holding them back for sure. I mean, look at their cup overflowing. And look what they're doing. They're watching you. So this is some air energy for me. It's like Page of Swords energy, which is really interesting because, again, this is Pisces energy. But all the emotions, look, they're completely buried in, even in their throne. Like they're looking like you don't know that they're looking. Then we have the Page of Swords here, which is in reverse. And that's somebody who's just been kind of afraid, but they've been watching. So we have our King of Cups. And I'm not quite convinced that, yeah, they, neither of these, none of these belong here in your overall energy. So we have our King of Cups, our King of Pentacles. We're halfway there into the Emperor energy. Not quite there, not quite making a move. Definitely wanting to communicate, I'll tell you what. But there's something here that is not finished. There is regret here. The World card, the Four of Swords. So a coming back energy. It's in reverse here. So it's a validation that you could say the separation is still going on. And the World card is here. Which wants to be here. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius here, here. Something is going down. World card energy. You know, it's the last major arcana before you get into the new cycle, into the Fool. And there's a completion energy around that. So things that, things in somebody's life, the person coming through, perhaps yours, I feel like it's theirs, but, you know, there could be a, some alignment energy here. So new cycle energy, completion, goals, lessons. Perhaps there is another, somebody here is living really far away. They're, in, they're connected with a job, a person, something here. Where is that two of pentacles? There it is. Yeah. That they're struggling with because that's an, an, a, a commitment issue energy, okay? So we can see it's like they're making, they're going to be making some kind of decision. Life-changing. And it also connects with the two of you. It connects with things like marriage, moving in, next level. And we have both the Empress in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse, which is a strong disappointment energy around that. So timing is somebody wasn't available. Somebody was. Somebody was ready. Somebody wasn't kind of energy. It's like I'm getting ready. I'm making life-changing decisions here. I'm completing my karmic debts. My life lessons, I'm getting obstacles out of the way. Divine number, divine timing, really strong. Future energy, moving toward the future. So what I wanted to say with our King of Pentacles, with our Nine of Pentacles, is are they ready now? Are they available now? Or are they getting ready? Are they becoming available? Are they working on it? Because there's regret here. There's this person here is definitely wanting to communicate and reveal the truth. They've been holding back a lot of feelings. There's, there is a lot of hurt here. I feel like it's been going on for a while, like the, the waking up in the night energy, probably for a while. But this is, yeah, there's change going on here. And no more evident than in the world card. We could be even be looking at somebody who needs to move, you know, locations or leaving a job, particular situation. Really strong energy of travel and immigration. So across the world kind of energy for some of you. I know it's not for everybody. I want to bring in some more tarot. And then we're going to get into some channeled love messages. Let's see what else wants to come through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Aquarius. I hope. The Eight of Wands. Really strong validation. You are, you've been wanting to hear from this person for a while. That's the thing. It's like maybe you thought you were going to, or you did, and it got deleted, or you just had this feeling, or maybe waiting for a response. So... Strong energy coming in again of hearing from this person. 
also giving us an 88, which is an energy of, it's like a butterfly energy for me, new stage. Somebody getting out of their ego, so that much for communication. But that's also connecting us with the death card energy, Scorpio energy, the death card of somebody who's getting ready to make some changes. Ending, moving on from something, making some changes, like getting out of the hangman energy and going into that death card energy. Page of Cups in reverse. Here with the Five of Wands, Page of Swords. So there's some kind of a little bit of fear, you know, immaturity perhaps, not really sure how to do it. It can't even be there's some obstacles in the way that there's still something, maybe for some of you, not real strong for everybody, but it is here, that there might be some kind of legal issues to tie up. King of Wands in reverse, but also the fear look. So it's a reversal energy in the King of Wands. We have the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Do we have the King of Swords? <laughs> We're one king shy of our emperor energy, and that's around the communication. This is just so not surprising. There's just a little bit of fear, like, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet, but I love you, and I'm getting ready. The lover's card. Aquarius, your reading today is just so connected. Gemini energy, Venus, the planet of love. Lovers connected to the heart chakra, of course. Very healing energy. Archangel Raphael just wants to get everybody healed and, and happy and men broken hearts. Archangel Raphael connected to the lover's card as well as the throat chakra. I love I speak. I love you. You are my soulmate. Strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, strong here today. I'm working it out. I want to come together. I'm not quite ready. I'm working on it. I love you. And when you get to that point, what's really strong here, especially in what wanted to be your overall energy, the world card is, and the lovers, that there's some really big life-changing decisions being made here. So whether that's around moving, moving away from a country, a city, state, country, People, jobs, whatever that is. Seven of Wands. So that's interesting. Look, it's like I've been waiting and waiting and now I'm just sick of waiting. So I don't know how I feel about it. Nine of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands. Like Eight of Wands here twice. Nine of Swords in reverse. Like I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying here. But there's this energy of... Well, Mars and Leo, by the way, of just defenses up. Yeah, look, that's exactly the energy. Seven of Pentacles. Venus and Taurus. I'm sick of waiting. I've been waiting. I have one foot. I might even have two feet out the door. I've been really patient waiting for this. I'm re I, My energy is shifting. I'm realigning. So this is somebody, I have to say, there is a little worry around that because they're getting restless. So I don't know if they've seen something or heard something in this Page of Swords energy that has them kind of triggered that you are moving on or you've moved on. But they're also realigning and they're realigning in an energy which is reassessing their actions, getting their priorities straight and... Yeah, getting their priorities straight and taking, making new decisions. Five of Swords. So I just, this is just a really clear apology here. Five of Swords in Reverse Venus. This is your energy, Aquarius. Coming with the Eight of Cups, Saturn and Pisces. And look, it's back again. It's been really clear here that they regret how they left things. I came in in your Six of Cups. That Five of Cups they were looking at. You know, that past energy. Because there's a lot of nostalgic energy in the Six of Cups. And there is a reunion energy there. Sometimes it stays in the nostalgia, reminiscing energy. And it, it's there, but there's also this, at some point, it's somebody making this move. The transformation, the transformational energy is strong around this person. So there's some, some things that they're working out, ending, changing. 
they're definitely out of their ego here, just in this last tarot messages to come through that they're sorry. It's, it's a strong apology. It's for both things that were said that I feel were hurtful and things that weren't said. It's a sword energy, you know, lack of clarity, lack of truth. We have our queen of swords in here wanting to be honest. So we're bringing in some channeled love messages. As you can see, <laughs> I think we're ready now. Take what resonates, let the rest go. If you feel that you're sending a message, then you're sending a message. What do you want to say to your person? It was my fault. So much regret. Yeah, that's just been really strong from the beginning of your reading. Yep, yeah, those are yours. That's also yours. It was me, not you. Do you still love me? Just wanted to show too. Yeah, you do, but you might not be showing it, <laughs> and I understand that. Life-changing decisions here coming up. Are they already here? Or are they still on the table? Is that it? Okay, that's it. The last one there in the bottom of the deck. I am so sorry. Connecting with it was my fault. Also connecting with the lack of the communication here. I messed up so bad. Wow. I'm liking this accountability. I think of you 24-7. It's so hard not being in contact. I think we are soulmates. Right here with the lover's card. Yeah. I stay awake thinking of you. Really? Strong energy from the get-go. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Six of Cups. I love you. I think we are soulmates right here with the Lover's card. I'm missing you. You have changed me for the better. I write messages that I never send. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Six of Wands. I'm so sorry again. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Your last channel love message. Message from their higher self. I'm totally broken. I'm going to bring in some love notes, okay? So I'm feeling that, and then we're going to close your reading. That's it. Okay. I saw someone who looked like you. I saw someone who looked like you. Okay. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. I wished on a star tonight. That's your energy, Aquarius. Your star. Right here with the world card. So the future. We are one. I don't know how to fix this, but I'm trying. I got to tell you too, there's just a little bit of jealousy here. I don't know if they've seen something or you said something or they've heard something. Or maybe it's just because it's quiet, you know. This, this is somebody who obviously still loves you too. I spy on you. There's that page of swords energy we know. So if you're on social media, if you're not, they might be finding another way, whether it's other people talking, you know. They're definitely getting that, that urge where you, they just start poking around. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I need that to be straight. <laughs> Aquarius, I know we met for a reason. Yeah. 
fate and destiny, connecting directly to your star energy. Affinity being pulled toward you in the stars, fate, the fates. Beautiful Aquarius, your reading was really beautiful <laughs> and it was my honor to channel for you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for liking today's video. Thank you for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I appreciate you. Comments are on, so definitely say hello. I'm looking forward to communicating with you there. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you at another Love Tarot reading, collective love reading, your zodiac reading, Aquarius. Maybe you're a cross watcher, or maybe you're on a twin flame journey. Wherever, I will see you there. In the meantime, take care. Bye for now.